Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon rising in Venus and we're looking from January to February 2022. So I hope you're well. Let's see what we have for you in the cards. And remember Scorpio, these readings won't be for everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, two cards have fallen out. We will take them. So we have persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. Follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. Hard work is required to keep building on your finances. So we have persistence there. Next level. Oh my goodness, we've got be a boss. <laughs> that might resonate for some of you. You're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain they will soon. There is a chance of something extra in the air. Could be as a result of some hard work persistence. Let's see what else we get, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, message for Scorpio. Money and career only, please. January to February 2022, thank you. Recovery. So we have some recovery going on here. Let's pull an energy card. What do we have for Scorpio, please, in money and career? Angel spirits guides. Thank you. Two cards. Wow. So I have patience. So patience has been needed, I feel, and that's the persistence energy. Keep on going at something. And we have the sun, number one, the most positive card in any deck, really. Okay, let me grab the book. This is the energy oracle cards, number one. Okay, so we have the sun, new beginnings and great creativity. The sun brings blessings to the earth and this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and the summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks the time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of, import, of an important new project such as the birth of a baby or the writing or publication of a book or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. Beautiful. I always talk about the sun as the sun shining on you because it is divine energy. It is divine energy lighting the path, shining and bringing helpful energy your way to all situations. So it's always beautiful to see. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? Overarching energy first, please. Angel Spirits Guides. January to February 2022. Thank you. Two cards. Wow, the Tower. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The Devil. Page of Cups. Five of Swords, Justice, the King of Cups, the Queen.
Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio, we have the Three of Swords. Something didn't seem fair here. But the beautiful thing is, persistence is needed. However, there is recovery here. Wow. Certainly, someone has been tested. Let's clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, please. We have the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is sometimes not, not being able to move forward or not seeing how to move forward in a situation, maybe circumstances, feeling trapped in a situation. And again, the Hierophant, the energy of having faith, having faith that higher power is at work here. The devil can be a number of areas. In money and career, it could be a, a person. He's the puppeteer, you know, pulls people, manipulates, ego-based, um, you know, something that we give power to, something that we feel powerless against. The devil is very good at creating an illusion here. So it might well be for some of you here, Scorpio, there's some kind of unhealthy environment or unhealthy person or person that, you know, I don't know. I mean, it feels like a, a person or a situation that's not been serving your highest good. But things are going to be balanced out, and that's what you're being told. Again, this persistence energy, the fact that you have persevered and persisted on this path means that you will get justice. The scales will be balanced in your favor. This could be a legal thing for some of you. For others of you, it could be to do with, I mean, if, if it's a legal thing, it could be anything from things like tribunals, um, complaint procedures, could be to do with a un, you know, get unions getting involved with situations. You kind of understand what I'm saying here, Scorpio. So from that, in that point of view, that would be justice. That would be an external party coming in and helping, helping you rebalance the scales. And maybe the determination to see something through to get justice. Let's um, clarify justice. Clarify justice, please. Yeah, the universe is bringing in a new opportunity for you. Yeah, I feel this is, karm this is karmic justice. This is the energy of you've per persevered with a situation and have not been able to see, see a way out of it. Now, that could be some changes in your money, career, finances. For some of you, I'm feeling stuck where that you might not see. You know, sometimes the energy of, of maybe feeling like this kind of groundhog day, being stuck in a cycle that you can't break free of. However, this is, I mean, there's certainly an energy here of something has happened, a tower moment has happened, significant change has happened, I feel in your money, career, finances. However, that Queen of Pentacles indicates recovery, indicates new abundance, uh, getting back on track, so to speak, in terms of money areas. So whatever's happened here, Scorpio, it, it, there's an element of something not being fair here or something not being just or some, someone's behaviour not being right. Again, 
regardless of what it means, there's an energy of there's a new opportunity being brought into you by the universe because you deserve this. And what it will do, it will help you break free of this, this devil energy. Whether you feel stuck in a repeating negative cycle and you don't see that way out of it, there is an energy of no justice and you have been working really hard to get out of that repeating cycle, whether it's a, a current work environment or whether for some of you there was deep change in your circumstances that may have resulted you know, in searching for employment. Whatever the case is, there's a message of a new opportunity here for you because the justice is a card of reap what you sow. It's a card of your actions deliver the, cons deliver the results. You deserve this. This is rightly deserved. A new exciting opportunity coming your way. So again, a new beginning. The Ace of Wands has real potential, real excitement about it. It has real growth potential as well. Uh, and it, it is that kind of breath of fresh air that's coming in that will help you move on from what seems to have been a difficult situation here. A situation where you felt kept within boundaries, however that resonates for you. This feeling of someone's either a, a, an environment is not going to change, a boss or a person is not going to change, um, or this energy of in some kind of cycle that you can't find difficult to break free of. There is an energy of, there is an opportunity to do that. This is, feels like your hard work is gonna pay off here. There's recognition from the universe. The King of Cups and the Page of Cups, this is somebody who really cares about you. You know, the King of Cups is also Scorpio energy, so this could be you here, Scorpio. But you know, a King of Cups is generally a very caring person. Um, so if this is a person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who represents the qualities of the card, male or female energy, then I feel this is a person who is giving you support, guidance, when you need it the most. Again, the page is that kind of loving message, caring message. Yeah, so I feel this is somebody who may, may have given you support. If this is you... Again, the Page of Cups can represent something coming in, but maybe unexpectedly, maybe a message here that is opening a new door. And again, the King of Cups is the energy of somebody who understands how to rise above the waves, coming back to yourself, coming back to your own here, coming into your own again, back on your throne. So again, male or female energy, but I feel that there is an opportunity to do that here. Because something has happened here. The Three of Swords. Disappointment. You have been tested. There has been hurt caused. Maybe repeatedly for some of you. Again, there's a feeling of repeating negative cycles. And the fact that it's been difficult to bring change. Uh, but I feel in this energy, whatever has tested you with this Three of Swords is coming to an end. Because, again, this Queen of Swords, Libra energy, justice is Libra energy. The Queen of Swords, it might well be you're getting some kind of news, communication, decision, even judgment here, however it would resonate, that restores balance and allows you to cut away the things that you don't need now in your life. I feel this is liberation. Again, the Queen of Swords brings down that sword you know, and will assess things that, you know, she assesses things that are, that will serve her and things that don't serve her. She's, she is a reason, logical, um, in the light of truth and very fair energy. But, you know, this is somebody who will balance all those things out and decide what's for her now and what's not for her and the opportunity to bring down that sword and liberate. Liberate, cut cords from things that don't serve her. I feel you're breaking free of whatever this devil energy is because the Five of Swords is a victory and it's a victory that's not been easy. And sometimes with what you might have been through, even though this opportunity is coming your way, there, you, there is just this feeling of, oh my goodness, but how difficult was it to get to this point, you know? So sometimes it doesn't even feel like that. You know, but it is. It is a deserved victory, I feel. 
and it's been brought to you by God, the universe, the divine. This is the sun is shining on you. The sun is coming out. Things are about to get better because divine energy is shining on you. There is recovery here. But this tower moment, I feel, you know, sometimes these energies, sometimes the tower moment shines a light on things that's flawed, where change is needed. And again, the tower does represent change, the tearing down of the old in order to make way for the new. And sometimes events and circumstances happen in tower moments to align you to where you need to be. So even though this might not have been an easy experience here, Scorpio, the message is you are finding the deserved path that is right for you, the new beginning. Okay, final message for Scorpio. There is recovery here. Okay, final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for our lovely Scorpios. Yeah. Fox, shadow work. There are no shadows without light. Yeah. And shadow work would be the devil, whatever this devil is. I feel the universe is intervening. This tower moment feels like it's not always easy to deal with tower moments, but it's to break you free. It's to break you free of, of whatever situation you may have been dealing with as well. We have Spider, Dreamweaver, tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading or found it useful and validating. And if you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.